everything should be under control, nice and easy. Really work on opening up your chest. So many days we sit and we sit and we hunch over and we sit. You want to make sure that you're able to open up your body so that your posture when you get a little bit older is not hunched over. A couple more seconds right here. Really good. Open it up and back down. Now come to your knees. Staying on your same side. You're just going to reach back and back up. Reach back. Now if that's hard for you, just lean back this way. You don't have to go all the way back. If that's easier for you, try to touch your opposite foot going back. Try to touch your opposite foot. You can go whatever pace you want as long as you're under control while you're doing it. A couple more seconds right here. Reach back. You should really be feeling it in your hip flexors. Open that up. All right, we're gonna sit down, same side. You're just gonna reach back and back up. Go back. If you can touch your elbow, that's great. Back up. Go back, if you can't touch your elbow, don't worry about it, just go back where you can. Just a nice little rotation. Going back and opening up your core and making it stronger. Again, if you can go all the way back, that's great. Back. All right, good job. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Come right here. It's easy, nice rotation up and through. Get your control as you go to the side and down. Up, rotate to the side. Up, to the side. Up, stretch it out. Really open that chest as you go up. Think about tightening your core so you're all stable. Right, back to your knees. Here, go back. You might be better on one side than the other. A little more flexible, a little stronger. Remember, you can go higher, the higher level. Reach to your opposite side. If you're not there yet, just come right down here. Do a little bit of extension here, but it's also really working those hip flexors right through here. Back and down. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sit back down and do the reaches backwards with our elbows. That now. Just right here. Just go back and back. Go as far back as you can. You're going to maintain your stability and go all the way back there. Go back and really reach. You can go back even further. Reach yourself out. If you're not there yet, it's fine. Just do what you can. You might not be able to touch your elbow to the mat. That's fine. It's right here. Back to the beginning and do alternating sides. So we're here, reach up and down. This takes a little bit more balance, so you might have to go slower than what you were used to. Up, back down, down, up, a couple more. As long as you're balanced and opening up that chest. To your knees. We're going to alternate back and forth this last rotation. Try to go a little bit further if you can. Feel it stretching in here? Back. Back in. It's great for people that sit at their desks all day, might be hunched over, but as an orthodontist, maybe hunched over working on patients all day. It's really good. All right, last one. We've got one more final stretch after this set. Go back, can you alternate here? Back. I actually like alternating better than keeping it on the single side. But you do what feels best for you. Back and forth. Back. Good. Up, a couple more seconds right here. Then we're gonna do the cobra move. We just get down. I'm gonna do it on my side so you can see it. Straight here and lean forward. If you can, if you need to leave your thighs on the ground, you can. If you can raise up on your toes a little bit, and really get in deep, deep in through those hip flexors. A couple more seconds right here. If you need to take a break, come back in child's pose. If you need to take a break, and go back into stretching. Great job. Hopefully 
hopefully that gave you a little rejuvenation, ready to get ready to start back and get back to work. Hopefully you feel a little more refreshed. Have a great day.